Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another sweat equity video for you. If you remember a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video transforming my laundry room and I have recently decided to transform my kitchen island. So if you want to see how I DIY'd my kitchen island, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. As I spoke in my last sweat equity video, I am on a mission to transform all the cabinetry in my house. My kitchen is project number 987. I have done lots of cabinet refinishing in this house. My kitchen is by far my biggest project. So my husband asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday and he named all these places that I love to go and I just said, I have an idea. <laughs> Let's get a hammer and demo that kitchen island. So that's exactly what we did. It took us a little over three weeks to complete it and I think it looks fantastic. Here's what my kitchen island looked like before. So this is our kitchen as it sits now. Here's the island. There it is from this side. Don't mind my floor towel over there. My kids feel so much that we need a floor towel. So the plan is to knock this thing out and put another cabinet here and then wrap this all together and this is all going to be one level. We'll keep you updated with the progress. So as you can see, I have a pretty large kitchen, but we did not like that my island stepped up. It was really awkward to sit there, especially with my children on higher bar stools that were a little bit wobbly. So I knew that I wanted to just open that up and make it all one level. I think it also helps being able to see out into the family room rather than looking up high at the countertop. At the beginning of the project, it was really fun just visualizing what things were gonna look like. My kids even got in there and got their hands dirty, which was really fun. What day is it? Demo day! <laughs> Demo day! Okay guys, so we are about a week and a half into this remodel of the kitchen island. My husband has placed plywood on top and we have wrapped all of the sides with plywood. Excuse my dishes. And here's the other side. My husband actually moved this outlet. It was initially in our tall countertop, it was in the backsplash. So we relocated that and added this cabinet here. It actually extended our island 15 inches. So it's quite a bit bigger now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding these corners. Um, we are building a butcher block countertop for this. And so I will update you guys um, as I go along. Just a little peek of how it's going mid project here. As you can see here, I'm adding some wood filler to fill in the gaps. It took three coats of the BB Frost chalk paint to cover my cabinetry to the opacity that I wanted. So our kitchen island is coming together. We're getting ready to put the butcher block on the top right over here. My husband made this out of a bunch of planks of redwood and cut out the thing for the sink. And we're getting ready to put it on the countertop. Okay, so we just got the countertop on. We're gonna add two pieces that go horizontal this way on either side. This coming together. Don't mind my dirty dishes. Looking good. I am going to stain this. I'm not sure what color. I'm going to use some scraps to test out some different colors. So we'll see how that goes. So we have our countertop on. We finished fabricating it today and we sanded it down. And so we're just getting it ready for conditioner and stain. 
All of our supplies that we used for this kitchen island came from either Home Depot or Lowe's. We went there probably 45 times in the last few weeks. I used the same exact product that I used to refinish my laundry room. I mixed the BB Frost chalk paint with one gallon of the Olympic flat paint and I think the shade is Mother of Pearl. I get it from Lowe's. Here is what it looks like after. Here is my island after. It's much bigger now. <laughs> This. If you remember before, this cabinet right here didn't exist. Turned out pretty good. So this countertop is made out of redwood and I stained it with Minwax Golden Oak. I put three coats of stain on there and three coats of semi-gloss water-based sealant. That is the final product. I plan to refinish the rest of my cabinets to obviously match the island. I was having a special family event that I was hoping to get my entire kitchen done for, but that didn't happen because the island took so long. So I love the results. I think it turned out fantastic and I can't wait to do the rest of my kitchen. If you guys have DIY'd anything in your house, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see pictures if you have videos. We are really big into doing this kind of thing. If you guys like to DIY, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye.